This is Vince Marino Plumbing LLC in Pittsburgh. I'm going to go over doing a draft test and combustion analysis the right way. September 29th, 23. I just serviced this Burnham Series 2 gas borer. It's an atmospheric, atmospheric draft borer with a vent damper. Now, there's a couple videos I've seen where people are showing combustion test, draft test. You do not take the draft test over here. It gets done above the dilution there. And vice versa, if you have the draft box in back of the boiler, you do the combustion analysis through the draft box and then the draft test up here where I have a draft gauge. This is how you do the draft gauge, okay? This is registering zero. If you do not have the NCI certification, and you're whatever certified for HVAC, you're not technically qualified. The HVAC doesn't teach and certify for combustion analysis and CO safety. Okay, National Comfort Institute. Now, this is where we're going to start the combustion analysis and the draft test. The combustion analysis gets started before you take the heat in the bore. It has to happen when the border starts. The startup shouldn't be more than four, 400 parts per million, give or take, of certain situations. You don't let the border heat up for five or ten minutes and take the analysis. Now, we're going to turn this on here. This is a Testo 300. Hopefully, Testo may um, credit my uh, YouTube page. I'm not showing off here bragging. I just want to touch base here. I have the NCI certification. This new Testo, as far as I'm concerned, is the best. It has a smart app. You can download it on your phone. When you're done, you open a second screen. You can email and print out the, um, the uh, test form. It goes right onto your cell smartphone. Let me turn the uh, border on. Okay, so I just had this service in Testo. They updated the software. So if you have this, you should be sending it back every year. They update the uh, software. There's a software in here. And then this is the, uh, the Testo Smart App. You would basically join... And this is the screen that I have right here. It'll be showing on my. It'll be showing on my uh, cell phone, the smartphone. This is a newer a smartphone, iPhone 15. Now, and then you save this. You can email it. Now, if you just had this serviced, there's a confliction or a glitch in the, in the software. So what you have to do is. Um, Remove the app from your phone and reinstall it, and then that'll register. Let me call the owner here. If you're getting your boiler serviced in Pittsburgh and they're not doing this test, it's very important you have it done. And the boiler and burners cleaned every year. This will Four, tell. One. This will ensure that the uh, appliance is operating safely. Can you raise your thermostat, please? Can you raise your thermostat, please? Yeah. Uh, raise it till it comes on. Raise it up. It's got to go up to 80. Are you raising it? Yeah, I turn the switch on. Did you put new batteries? You got the thermostat off? It's on now. It's on now. It's good. Pardon me? Yeah, it's on now. Okay. 
So as you can see, the borders, I'm taking a tutorial here, not of you or your house. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. This is going to be registering the numbers. You can see my cell phone on the left screen. And everything that's on this analyzer will be on this screen of my phone or your phone. They, they use this for numerous things, but um, pot of lights lit at one part per million. You see one part per million, two part, three part. So this is how you do the combustion analysis. And at the same time, you will be doing the draft test. You can see the bubble starting to move. You do not do the draft test where you're taking the combustion analysis. It gets taken after the dilution there. Okay. So you can see there's 38, 34 come right down. It's the same as the cell phone. This works via Bluetooth. So it's the same as this. Now this will run for 10 minutes. Set my timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, counting down. So this is the proper way to do a combustion analysis. You do not put the uh, draft test in before the dilution error. You take this when you start it, and the draft test the same. This is between 0 0.1 and a half to 0 0.2. You don't want to be above that. If it's above two or th uh, two, you know, three to four and climbing, you have an excess of draft. And I've seen a lot of people on the uh, YouTube that uh, they're not uh, concerned with the draft test, what those numbers mean. If you have too much draft, you can have, uh, it's called an eddy current effect, quoting NCI which can seal off the carbon monoxide going up, excuse me, the flue gas going up the chimney. It will lower the oxygen and uh, raise the CO. But in the meantime, back to this uh, it's uh, oxygen 6.4 you don't want to be below six on the oxygen. Two parts per million. The CO2 is 8.19, which we're not concerned too much with. It's the uh, carbon monoxide, the oxygen, and your temperature here, the T stack. Carbon dioxide is fine. The same numbers are on my Testo smart screen. So again, if you just had this... Um, serviced at Testo in Spark, New Jersey. You would have to remove the app from your phone here. Reinstall the app and re-enter the PIN. There's a PIN you have when you open up your second screen. And everything that's on this analyzer will be on your phone. And you can actually, I believe, email this. We'll print it to the uh, printer, they work Bluetooth too now with the new software update. So we're running this at two parts per million, the oxygen 6.4, which is good. And we have a steady draft between uh, 0 0.1 and a half to two, which is not uh, excessive. I have a YouTube channel, so I'm certified for this and I try, I've seen some people doing the, you know, the test wrong, so I'm touching base on it. I'm gonna upload this later today so for the meantime this is how you conduct the uh, flue gas analysis combustion analysis in the draft it has to be done simultaneously okay um, I don't know what else to tell you whoever is doing it the other way they're not educated but do yourself a favor if you're doing this, get certified at NCI, National Comfort Institute, because uh, you'd be quite surprised what you can find by doing the test this way. And also, anybody pushing flu liners, you, you'll get educated on why flu liners are not a good idea to be installing on atmospheric borders once you get certified through the National Comfort Institute. So in the meantime, I'm gonna finish this test 
and as I can see right now it's burning pretty steady and clean two parts per million and the oxygen is 6.4 so this is the uh, Testo Smart App or how do they say second screen Testo Screen 300 so if you're having any problems you know what to do here but uh, in the meantime here you see how much time we got we got five minutes And uh, it's a pretty good uh, analyzer. Um, I don't see using no other one. It actually has a Rolodex. So if you're repeating customers, you just pull their name up and everything's in there. You have the model, number, serial number of the boiler. If they call you, nothing uh, is working. You have an idea what parts you would need. This is burning... Oh, you sir? This is burning good. You only have two parts per million. I believe it's the same as last year. So, um, this is a brief touch base on how you service uh, the borer with a combustion analysis. Of course, I didn't have the servicing in here. I don't want to conserve time, but. Um, That's how you do it. So in the meantime, I'm going to get this uh, wrapped up. I have another call to do. Um, this does take time of the job, which I'm not charging. But um, until the next adventure, this is Vince Marino Plumbing LLC in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, city of Pittsburgh. If you have any border problems, steam or hot water, draft, or you get a home inspection when they tell you the chimney needs to be lined and everything else, give me a call. 412-682-6733. Vince Marino Plumbing LLC.com. Have a nice day. Arrivederci.